Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Ideano using IoT. In our previous video, we have learned how to interface button LED using Ideano. So in that video, we have learned how to control the blinking of LED using a button. So similarly, today we will learn how to interface IR sensor using Ideano. So before starting, I would like to tell you that what is IR sensor? IR means infrared. Infrared sensor is a switching device and also an analog device which transmits and receives IR signal. So for better understanding, I would like to show you some photos of IR sensor. So. So here we can see there is a one transmitter that is IR transmitter and one is IR receiver. When the rays are transmitted from the transmitter but if some objects come in front but if some object come in between the rays then it reflect that rays and comes to the IR receiver. So this IR receiver sends back a signal to the device. So in that way, there is one more photo. What is happening here is, this is an IR transmitter and this is photodiode or we can say our IR receiver. When a ray is reflected back and received by the receiver, it sends back an analog signal uh, which is sent to the comparator IC, this LM358, this is a comparator IC which compares this output signal through this reference signal and in the output it generates a digital signal which we are going to use as an input for a Adiano for making some action or to perform some operation. So before starting, let's first make a connections so that we can write a code for that. So this is the IR sensor which we are going to connect it to the Adiano board. So before connecting, let's just check the pin out of an IR sensor. There are three pins. One is output second is ground and the third one is VCC. We will connect a VCC and ground to the VCC and ground of Adiano board and our output of IR sensor to the pin number 2 of Adiano board which we are going to be used as an input pin. So let's just make the connections. So now we can see we have made the connections so let's just write the code for it. And now we have made the connections of IR sensor with our Adiano Uno board. So we will now write the code for IR sensor. So let's start. For starting, let's make it in a new file. Just click on this new, maximize it. Now Let's start. So before starting, we will first initialize it. For that, int ir equals to 2. Because I am connecting it to pin number 2. That is a digital pin. And inside this loop, I will write pin mode. That I am defining its mode that in which mode it will be working as ir comma input so i am using it as an input because ir sensor is an input device so we have written here ir comma input and here i will write one more thing serial dot begin within brackets 
9600 and colon so i have written here serial dot begin i don't want to check my output on any output device i just want to check my output here in the serial monitor which is shown here in the tools and serial monitor so for that i have written here serial dot begin and inside this serial dot begin here is 9600 which is the baud rate which shows that which shows the data rate speed means at what speed it will communicate with and i have shown 9600 means it will communicate at 9600 baud rate so now let's start what our ir sensor will do similarly what we have done in button that we will do in ir sensor also so for that i will write int state state i am defining to check what is the present state of my ir sensor whether it is a high or it is a low so for that i am just checking whether it is high or low for that i will write digital read means it's checking that ir sensor is giving a high output sorry the high input or low input so right here ir because i'm checking it on the pin number 2 which i have defined for the ir so i have written here and now i will check the conditions similarly what i have done in the button so for that i will write state equals to equals to low one is for the low and the other else part it will do something and what it will do i will tell you the state is low low means there is no interrupt means no interrupt else means there is some interrupt so for that i will tell if this condition is true that what it will do i will want to print it on serially so i will just write serial dot print ln ln is just for the next line if i will not write this print it will the print the next statement in the same line so i am just writing ln so that i will get my output on the new line within brackets now i will tell him that what it has to print there like it is low so i want to print that there is no in interrupt so i will just type interrupt and for the else part similarly i will write the same thing serial dot print ln within brackets double quotations interrupt and colon so now my code is almost done what i have done here is first i have initialized my variable that is ir with a pin number 2 serial dot begin to checking it serially pin mode to define whether it is an input or output inside void loop state for checking the present state of the ir sensor and now checking for the conditions that whether it is low or it is high if it is low what it will do if it is high what it will do now my code is done let's just verify it just save it first ir i'll just save it by ir and save now it's compiling the sketch so my compilation is done so i can directly upload my program to the microcontroller or we can say my arduino board so let's just upload it just click on the upload button so my uploading is done so i can check 
whether my program is working or not so let's check it up so just go to tools serial monitor here we can see and i have not generated any interrupt it is showing no interrupt now i have made a interrupt so it is changed its value from no interrupt to interrupt now i i will remove my hand in front of that then again it is interrupt interrupt no interrupt interrupt no interrupt so this was just the code to checking it serially on the serial monitor similarly you can do the same thing what we did in button to check it on led motor buzzer or any output device so this was it for today so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any query please write it in the comment box and thanks for watching this video